Now the fate of a Spokane police officer accused of using excessive force is in the hands of a jury right now. Today, prosecutors and defense attorneys offered their blistering closing arguments in the case of Carl Thompson. He is accused of using excessive force during a deadly 2006 confrontation with Otto Zem. Today would have been Zem's 42nd birthday. KXOY's Forge uh, Jeff Humphrey joins us now live at the Zip Trip. That's where the fatal incident occurred. And Jeff, neither side, they pulled any punches in their last chance to sway the jury, huh? You know, today, Mike, prosecutors accused Carl Thompson of being an abusive cop who chose to strike first and ask questions later. Thompson's defense team says the veteran officer was simply trying to track down a theft suspect who wouldn't comply with Thompson's commands. Now a jury in Yakima has to decide what is the most reasonable explanation for what happened to Zem inside this convenience store. Five years ago, Otto Zem went to this automated teller machine to deposit his paycheck. However, the jury only knows that Zem matched the description of a man suspected of stealing cash from another customer's account here and was spotted by Officer Carl Thompson walking inside this zip trip. Today, in closing arguments, prosecutors said Thompson overreacted to what little information he had, hitting Zem with his baton even before asking Zem to explain his actions. However, Thompson claims that Zem saw the officer coming and picked up a potential weapon, a two-liter soda bottle, that Zem refused to put down. Prosecutors say the first of eight baton strikes from Thompson came too quickly and never gave Zem a chance to comply with the officer's commands. But Thompson's attorneys say Zem was trying to kick and punch the officer even when they were both on the ground and that the use of force was justified. Prosecutors told the jury surveillance video shows Zem doing nothing but trying to protect himself from the blows. Thompson says display counters blocked the view of Zem fighting with him for a total of 49 seconds. The United States also wants the jury to find Thompson guilty of lying to investigators about what happened. Thompson said Zem stood up during the altercation and assumed a boxing stance. Prosecutors insist Zem is tall enough to be seen above the store shelves, and if he had really stood up, it would have been on the video. And so now this jury in Yakima has a lot of work ahead of it. Not only will it be reviewing the live testimony that it heard during trial, but also the testimony given to a grand jury two years ago here in Spokane. So don't expect their decision anytime soon. Reply in the live in North Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXY4.